Welcome to the Medical Device School. So here is Munir Alazuzi from EasyMedicalDevice.com and Stefan Boleininger from Beyond Quality. And today we will talk to you about um, should you do a process validation or a process verification? So what is your opinion on that, Stefan? Well, well the answer is it depends. <laughs> yes, <laughs> oh, <absolutely. laughs> all, all, it always depends. It's, um, if I can create a KPI, on a process, even it's a production process or a quality process, whatever. If I can create a KPI, I use the KPI and use verification. If I, for everything else, I cannot look into it. I have my I have a Schrodinger's box and look, I want to and have some from the outside view or a black box saying something like that. I need to do on the validation part. So that's really depending. And that's what I need to plan first. If I have a production set, my, most companies have a production flowchart. Yep. For their product. Well, you really need that for during submission for FDA for something like that. Okay. Yep. So that's the first thing. That's the second thing is during that, during the creation of that flowchart, you will find out, okay, that I can measure and that I need to validate. Um, you know, Leonardo da Vinci had one sentence, could he had a lot of sentences, but one of them was count what is countable, measure what is, not, what is measurable and what is not measurable, make measurable. And that's what's what he meant with validation. That is validation. First things, I can go on my process, go on my flowchart, look at that and say, okay, I can count that, I can measure that, I can measure this, measure this. And then I do a verification because ver verification is precise. And verification reduces problems. And everything else where I say, okay, I cannot really measure that and this and that and that and that, I do validation. First attempt, okay? Da, 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 da. I will go through the process, I go through the process, and then comes, well, it's going to come, I come to one spot. During the third, fourth, or fifth production, um, uh, production run, I find out, hey, all my parameters on this and this and this and this and this verification is fine. Then I remove that and use, um, timely, a validation of it in a timely manner. So I only reduce the amount of checks. I don't do use verification anymore because once I, I have done that five times now, I have it under control and then I go on a validation approach and say, okay, validate right, this, validate right, that, and reduce the number of in-process checks. Yeah, so and uh, yeah. If, if we go more on the uh, experience West, so mainly, for example, if you have a, a, a piece and you have a feature on your piece and you can measure it with a, uh, any measurement tool, so a caliper, a gauge, or anything, so then uh, it can be verified. Uh, other thing is like, for example, laser welding, uh, those kind of things are, the only way to verify that is to destroy the part, <laughs> but if you destroy all the parts that you are producing, it will not work. <laughs> so imagine that, yeah, if you should destroy all the parts to, uh, to verify that the process is correct, uh, I think it's not the right method. So at the end, I think you should think about the validation and then uh, validate your processes to, to save some money and also to be able to deliver some parts to your to your customers then. Yes, there is a very good point. Test where you break the device. I would not do that for 100%. <laughs> I think some people can think about it. Uh, let's do that, but no, don't do that. Nah. <laughs> Really a bad idea to destroy every device you want to deliver. That's a very bad idea. So you can take a validation or you can maybe check it afterwards. But moldings and weldings is a very good point. Yeah. Been in the past plenty of problems during with molds. Because molds, especially if you have not only one component, for example, if you have a plastic and some kind of metal film with it within it. Yeah. That is really, ah, oh, that is tough. Because if the molding and the, um, the uh, di uh, dispenser materials and something like that is not working correctly and the chemistry is not working on it quite good, then you have a problem with the long time effects. So if you need to have validation on it, and if you, because you cannot uh, verify that, you need to make sure that you also count the aging within it. That's something which is, often missed in the process, but you need to make sure that you also, buy, if you do validation, you need to have an, um, an instructional or whatever, an, an aging of the device to make sure that you can validate it by time and you know that it will happen, will not break in the 
Yeah, you will discover that anyway during uh, if uh, you receive complaints from your customers saying, "Hey, it breaks," <laughs> just after you send that to me. So I think it's it's a good uh, good uh, good sign then. Yes, absolutely. And then you should refer to that pod to that podcast and go to the Kappa episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, one thing so for validation, the method that we are using usually is IQ, OQ, PQ. So installation qualification, operational qualification, and performance qualification. Um, do you know another method? Because this is the only one I know for me. Well, from the, the yes, yes, this is. Um, well, that's um, the mostly used method because it con contains everything. And it really contains everything. But you need to make sure that you don't need IQ, OQ, PQ for everything. So yeah. um, you have processes where you only say, ah, oh, PQ is sufficient. Or at the end, or, or even IQ or a tr the training of the people might be sufficient on many times. So train people, that's good on, on one thing. And if you find out during the operational qualification, everything's good, fine. But um, you, meet, you need to make during that, as, for every step, you need to make clear, do you want to take it or not? Agree. Or, uh, other things are um, sometimes you have a validation bound with, um, for example, product validation at the end, if you have the final product and you need to validate that by, the, by some kind of users or anything, or you can simply work with your device it's not really iq oq pq but you take a production line and go step by step by step by steps and you make a let's call it an expert workflow or something like that around it and take out one process one piece of the process in time look at it make a visual inspection next on it visual inspection and you do that only for a hard and uh, to a um uh, to a piece of measurement cycle and an um, aql level on it oh well during validation and verification, please always consider the, uh, the AQL levels. Yeah. That so is what, what, what for people, what is it? Uh, the acceptance, acceptance quality level. So you, you have an, you have a um, pre-calculated number of how many devices you should pick from a batch. Okay. And that is one thing you should really use because in the past, some statisticians already created the data. And once they created the data, you should refer to them because you don't need to recalculate it one by one. You need to just make the table. Like, it looks like that if you see the table. So you have yes. some, uh, some uh, yes. I have an application on my phone for that. <laughs> if you are interested, really? so, uh, let me know in the comments if you are interested. I will, I will give you the name of the application. But yeah, there is an application for that. I mean, Apple has an application for everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I have not seen that yet, but that's... Very good idea to have said that it's called the lab as a real. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You, see, you, know, you know, another thing here. <laughs> I will take that in my next audit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> just just to check if the actual the choose is the right one then. <laughs> in, 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 gen, in general, I only take the it takes the paper and says a, a one page is the actual. It's oh. only one page. You should convert to digital. It's, you should really convert to digital. <laughs> I, I should. <laughs> okay, Stefan. So uh, I think now people uh, know what to choose, uh, validation or verification for their processes. Uh, and uh, they can also go to the podcast.easymedicaldevice.com to see the show notes and see also the articles. Uh, I will put uh, the name of the of the application also for the HUL on the article if you are uh, on the show notes if you are really interested. Okay, so thank you and thank you, Stefan. Thank you. Bye. Bye.